Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. This morning, Google started rolling out the Android 4.2 update to their Nexus 7 and the GSM version of the Galaxy Nexus phones. Of course, that means you're going to be getting the update whenever you get the update, unless you want to go ahead and get the, uh, the manual update and go through a whole bunch of interesting stuff to make that work. So, Really quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that on your Galaxy Nexus, and then I'm going to show you roughly what it looks like and some of the new bells and whistles and a little tip that you won't want to miss out if you get into the developer options at all near the end of the video. You won't want to miss that. Let's get to it. Now for this to work right, you're going to need to be running a stock ROM, not a custom ROM. However, if you're running a custom recovery image, it might make things a little bit easier. However, if you're running a custom image, a custom ROM like CyanogenMod or AOKP, it's going to make things a little bit tougher. In fact, you're probably going to want to revert to stock before you do this. The next thing, all this is going to be done at least through this method, through ADB. So you want to make sure you have your device all hooked up and recognized with the drivers loaded in, in Device Manager for ADB. How do you make sure you got that? Well, simply come over here to your SDK folder, type in ADB space devices and enter. If you've got a device listed in here, you're good to go. You're connected. Now, you're probably noticing this. Sideload. What is that? Well, a lot of times you can get a kind of a, a slimmed down version of fast boot with ADB. I haven't had any luck with that. I had to go to the full version of the SDK to get this to work. Your mileage may vary, but if it doesn't work in the slimmed down version, try the full SDK. Next thing, you're going to boot up your device. And uh, essentially, you're going to boot it up into bootloader and then do a special key combination, essentially the volume up and the power button at the same time. And with enough monkeying, eventually you're going to get to this. It is essentially a side load version of uh, a flashing utility. So kind of cool. It lets you side load OTA updates. Very cool. So let's go ahead and do that. The command to do that is ADB space side load. Now the, the slim down versions might not have this side load function and give you an error. If that's the case, go with the full version. The next thing is I need to put in the file name of that ROM. And of course it's a dot zip. And at that point I'm going to hit enter and it's sending it over. Nothing's changing there on my screen. As you can tell, it's just going through the percentage. Once that gets all the way done, it's going to run through a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't look all that pretty or entertaining on the device itself. Now this is the GSM version of the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you're probably going to need another version for the uh, the CDMA versions. However, this should work in both the Yakju and Takju uh, varieties. However, this is specifically for Takju. So now it's done. I just need to reboot. So I'm going to hit the power button to tell it to reboot. Got a little vibration wiggle on my phone. I've got the Google logo. Notice it's not unlocked. This is completely stock going on from here. So it's going to go ahead and, uh, and do the setup just like you'd normally see. Uh, pretty boring. To save time, we're going to skip over to the Nexus 7 that I have already done. And I'll show you what, uh, what you can do there and some fun stuff with Android 4.2. So here's what we've got. First of all, you're going to notice that we've got a, a nice new clock up here and some panels that we can apparently add stuff to. So let's go ahead and drop the calendar in there. There's my calendar. Let's come over and let's drop the uh, sound search widget in there. And now we can flip between them and we don't even have to unlock the device. Really kind of cool. Let's go ahead and unlock. We'll do that. Now I'm over here at my about tablet. You can see that this is version JOP40C and it is Android 4.2 the new flavor of jelly bean. Now, something that you might not see in here is developer options. We like doing all kinds of stuff with developer options, connecting by ADB and whatnot, uh, debug mode. So how do we get that? Go in here into your settings. I'll show you how to get to settings in just a minute. Hit about tablet, and then down here, just tap on the build number a bunch of times. So ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, you see that? 
told me that I was just a few taps away from being a developer and now I'm a developer. So I'm gonna put that on my resume now. Uh, Google says I'm a developer because I pressed that. So now we should be able to get into developer options just like we were before. It's just kind of hidden so that the typical end user can't get into it accidentally. So how do we get into settings? You'll notice when we pull this down, there aren't any settings in here, just my normal little slider thing. There's no more lock on the top like there was before. If I try and do a, a two finger pull down, I don't get settings. So hey, what's going on? To get into settings and uh, that nice fast toggle screen, just grab on your menu bar up here. I don't know what we call that and slide it over to the side. And if I do it right, sure enough, it pulls down with this other shade that says who I am. This is the logged in person. Of course, this is a tablet, so you can switch users now. And it gives you your quick toggles. And of course, it lets you go into full blown settings right there. Go ahead and try the multi-user. Here's me. I apparently don't have an icon associated with me, but there I am. Uh, maybe that's not having anything to do with switching users, just showing you who the currently logged in user is. Of course, we'll get to play with this quite a bit. Our auto rotate has moved down there, as you could see. I'll just pull that again so we can lock rotation there rather than just getting to it from, from there. All right, so lots of other cool stuff, obviously, inside this. Let's see if we can find some stuff. One of the things that everybody's been wanting is the uh, the new Gmail stuff. Where's my Gmail? There's my Gmail. So here in Gmail, let's go ahead and open this up. And from here, we can show pictures. And this doesn't have an awful lot to show, but we should be able to pinch to zoom. Let me see if I can find some uh, some spam for us over here in marketing that's always a good place to find it and let's go to google offers show pictures and this isn't letting us pinch to zoom but that's because there is a new setting if we go in here to settings i believe it's general settings we should be able to see something do we see it do we see it auto fit messages right there check that let's go back and now all of my rich html messages are automatically fit on the screen and if i need to get in and see more detail i can pinch to zoom just like that so very cool there is your second tip now of course things are going to be just a little bit different over on the phone version rather than the tablet version but overall it's very nice you can see all of the cool stuff right in there we're going to go one last place and see if we can find where to set up that multi-user stuff and this is the first time i'm seeing this guy so if you're wondering why this is first hands-on first look it's kind of hard to swipe that when you're uh, uh when you're doing it left-handed off camera just so you know so over here under device we have a new option called users we'll open that up and here is me, my nickname, my owner info, and I can add a user just right in there. Very simple, like you'd expect. All kinds of cool. So if you wanna get the files that you need to either do this on the Nexus 7 or the Galaxy Nexus, head over to pocketnow.com. We'll have links there. We'll have some rough instructions on how you can do this based on the method that you saw here. We'll also give you some hints on how to do it if, you are, uh, if you're still stock, but you're rooted and have a custom recovery image installed as well. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're eager to see Android 4.2 on your device, give the video a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, showing off Android Jelly Bean, the new flavor. I'm Joe Levi, thanks for watching.